have a data frame or maybe data set which looks something like this which has three variables and using the numeric variables which of course is msrp and invoice you want to prepare some statistical summary reports which tells you the information like moments here you you can see the number of observations mean standard deviations qns and many other things other than this if you want to create some basic statistical summary just like mean median mode standard deviation variance range etc or if you want to do some testing some kind of hypothetical testing that you can also do or you want to have some quantile information created or you want to see the outliers or the extreme value that means extreme lowest and extreme highest and not only this if you want to prepare some charts like this then you can use the proc univariate so it's it says that it is used to check the data distribution get descriptive statistics do the normality assessment and discovery of outliers hypothesis testing and many more so there are a lot which you can do with proc univariate so this gives you many information which is quite similar to the proc means but it provides you much more flexibility let's jump to the sas window and try to do it practically all right so here i'm just creating a subset of car data set because in car data set we have many other uh, variables which we don't want to use in this particular example so that's why i'm just taking a subset of that with just three variables and i'm going to show you how that data looks like okay cars subset and then just run oops run and you see this is the data set which we have i was discussing it in the very beginning okay now first thing which we're gonna do is just run the proc univariate simple so as usual you're gonna write proc and then the processor name which is univariate and then data statement with that you need to provide the data frame name which is uh, i mean data set name the input data set and then just run this so if you run this without specifying any variable what it gonna do is it it will show the statistical information for all of the numeric values so primarily it shows the five statistical information which is moments basic statistics test for locations and quantiles and extreme observations all right so by default these five informations are displayed and this if you see it is displayed for all of the numeric variables so we had two numeric variables variables similarly it is showing for all the two numeric variables now i can hear you asking that what if we want to produce it for just one numeric variables or some specific numeric variables yeah i heard you so for that what you're going to do is just say var you can use the var statement and in that you can specify for which variable you would like to have this particular univariate or information created you see now you have it for all the values available in msrp only not for the invoice variable so this is how you can specify the particular variable as well now you can do one more thing like you saw that here you have the orig uh, origin categorical variable which is a categorical variable now if you want to have this statistical information which is produced by univariate created for each of the origins separately that you can also do how you can do that for that you're going to write class statement in the class statement you can just specify the vari variable for basis on which you want to categorize it so that in my case it's going to be origin now if you see this is being created for asia only okay this proc univariate report is created for asia only now the next one which you can see here it's for europe similarly if you scroll down you're gonna see it for usa so similarly it will create a separate proc univariate report for each of the category given in the origin variable for now i'm just going to comment this now you know what i can understand that you must be thinking what if we don't want to see all these informations 
what if we want to have some specific summary only for example i want to see only moments or maybe only basic statistics how we can do that so that's very simple all that you need to do is just write a ods statement ods select and you're going to give the name of that segment which you want to see in the result for example if you want to see basic statistical measure so for that you're going to write basic measures okay basic measures now let's run this here you go here you have just the mean median mode standard deviation variance and range now please note if you want to understand this statistical term we have another series i would uh, suggest you to follow that where we explain the statistical terminologies right all of these statistical things pos possibly you can get a video on standard deviation we will be releasing it somewhere on tuesday or on thursday right so in that you can follow about the statistical terms which we are covering one by one but here i'm just going to be focused on uh, proc univariate only now coming back to the point here we just saw how we can produce the basic measures now if you want to see only testing testing information so for that you can just do this and here you have just test for location mu 0 equals to 0 and here if you see this is t test result this is uh, and this is p value and it uh, and so on right so this is how you can just specify it so all the five things which we saw in the beginning those all are translated like this so if you want to see test for location you're just gonna write test for location if you want to see quantiles you can write quantiles if you want to see extreme observation you just need to write extreme ops right so take a reference from this list so that it will be easy for you to understand because it's not going to be same as it is written over here right like if you can see it is written extreme observation but when we when you use in ods you're gonna write extreme ops so what it says is the lowest value in your data is this for msrp the lowest msrp is this and where is it appearing it appearing in it is appearing in row number 207 now what is the highest value in your data so that's this this is the highest value available in your data right and this is available in row number 335 okay so this is how it gives you the extreme observation information for example if you want to give a title to this so that can also be done for example if you want to say title and extreme ops analysis outlier check outlier check okay so that's that can be done simply by writing this outlier check variable msrp something something right so if you want you can just put a same same colon over there and then you run it now you have it perfectly written outlier check right if you want to include footnote that can also be done footnote and you're gonna say this is the end of summary and just put a semicolon and just hit f3 key from your keyboard now here you see this is the end of summary so this is how you can use title and footnote now if you want you can use the, you can plot the things on histogram as well right how you can do that you can create a histogram okay let me say histogram and let's execute this boom So if you see at the bottom you have the histogram if you want you can just omit the upper statistical information how you can do that for that you're gonna say no print and then you can just run this here you go now here you have the histogram created for msrp now if you want to see how it is distributed if you want to create a normal distribution for this normal distribution plot if you want to see the skewness of data that you can also check how you can check that for that you're gonna say histogram slash normal and then run this you see now you have the kde line plotted on this okay so this is the normal distribution if you see mu is mu means the mean mean is this and standard deviation is this so this is how you can draw a histogram with normal distribution 
i mean kde thing kernel density line okay so that's how you can do that as well now remember when you are doing this don't select this particular part this particular thing okay now what i um, other than this you can create set of plots basis on this all right how can you do that let me first comment all these things which are not required or maybe let me just remove it to make it clean if you want you can just keep that that's not a problem but just to make it clean i'm not keeping those things okay i'll remove this as well okay now let me just execute this and you gotta scroll it down and you gotta see over here so this is the histogram which has been drawn okay for msrp this is the box plot box plot uh, a separate video i have created on box plot though that is using uh python c bone but you can just have a look in general box plot gives you a very comprehensive information about your data set so if you see here this is telling you the minimum value this is the maximum value these all are the outliers this but middle line you see this is telling you the median and this uh, this shape is telling you the mean of data so in one box plot you get all the descriptive statistical information all right now here it is t uh, telling you the uh, probability thing right how the probability is going and so on right so these all are the things you can uh, check using proc unipilot so this is it for now if you if you would like me to you know explain it more from the statistical point of view or maybe from a statistical angle then i would say just hit the thumbs up button and even if you don't want me to tell you the, from the stand, statistical standpoint but if you like this video just give a thumbs up this will help us this will motivate us and this will help this video to reach to all those users who are looking for this kind of information right and if you want me to explain it more just put that into the comment section and put what exactly you would like me to explain because proc univariate is a very big thing right it covers so many things so what specifically you would like to use proc univariate for just let me know in the comment section and i will definitely make a separate video for you thanks again for watching this video wish you very good luck happy learning